back to the Learning the Elements Through Illustrator video series. If you are interested in detailed plans, worksheets, and project outlines for this unit, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. So for our scales, we're going to have 11 rectangles that go across the page. You're going to start on the left guide and end on the right guide. So let's review our copy paste options because you don't want to have to draw a new rectangle for everyone and try to make it the right size and line it up just right. That's just a mess. Nobody wants to do that. So select your rectangle with your selection tool and let's just do a little copy paste review. You can always command C, command V. That's copy and paste. When you do that, your pasted object will come to the center of the page. And you could drag it up every single time, Command C, Command V, to the right spot. That is a little arduous though, and you have a tendency of getting off. So let me give you a few more options. Instead of just doing Command C, Command V, click on the previous one, do Command C, and then do shift command V. Now it looks like nothing happened, but actually there is another rectangle underneath the one that you created. Basically what happened was you copied and then you pasted in place. So it pasted directly on top of the one that you had before. And then you can click on your object, hold down shift and drag across until you see the intersect, which tells you that it's lined up with the previous box. And lastly, you could hold down Alt and drag. And then after you started to drag, you can hold down Shift to allow it to stay horizontal. Once you see intersect, let go. And you have your fifth rectangle. The Alt and drag option is probably the one that I would do. Now you can actually select more than one box and you can hold down Alt, click, drag, hold down Shift, and wait for Intersect. Now I have 10 boxes and all I need is one more. So I'm gonna click and hold down Alt on this last one and drag for my 11th and final box. Now, how do you make it so that it stops on your right guide? Well, since we don't care so much how tall the rectangles are, you can select all of the rectangles, click on the outside where you see path and the double arrow, and drag in until you see intersect, and let go. And now your boxes are lined up with your margin lines. We want to have four sets of these boxes. We're going to do four scales. So click across all of the boxes and copy paste them in your favorite method so that you have four sets going down your page. And since I have smart guides open, notice what happens when I click and drag down. Do you see the double arrows across the side that says 0 0.379 inch? That's telling me that the space is the same between this set of boxes and this set of boxes. That's just a handy thing that Illustrator does to help you keep things organized. Now, if you like this video and you want more resources, go to digitalartteacher.com to learn more. And I'll catch you in the next video.